What's going on, everyone? There we go. Okay, so we're going to continue this Children of the Corn photo. It's going to be some fun times. <laughs> and again, if uh, anyone who's in here right now that wasn't in yesterday's stream when I started this, yeah, if you guys don't know about the new Children of the Corn movie that's uh, going to be coming out. It's actually a prequel movie, and we're finally getting a theatrical one that was allegedly $10 million, right? So they're actually trying to take it seriously this time. And I think with all the weird stuff going on and all the cults, it, uh, it makes sense. Plus it's pretty easy to uh, influence kids nowadays. I mean, when you create monsters, a lot of times the adults are the ones who create the monsters, right? So Children of the Corn really isn't all that far-fetched. I mean, whether we want to believe the demon in it is far-fetched or not, um, it's up for debate, but the cult itself is not. I just realized what I'm doing. <laughs> Little mistake. Definitely want to be drawing on the proper layer here. <laughs> Might make a difference. Oh yeah, there we go. Now I can actually see the line properly. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. I am not a total beast with digital art yet. I am still in the works of it. It is something, uh, something else to get used to, especially when you've been drawing on paper for all your life, right? Well, for anyone who's curious, I am using a Wacom tablet. Oh, thanks, Eddie. <laughs> am I seriously drawing on that? Oh, I am too. How did that happen? I bet somebody saw that happening and they were probably laughing at me. I mean, you're on that wrong layer again. What are you doing? I don't even know how that happened. Okay, there we go. Okay. That's why. I think because when I undo, it actually brings it right back under there. Okay. Get some kind of basic line work on here and then I can fix it up after. Oh. See that uh, you know what I find a little bit tricky right now? I don't know if anyone else has the same problem with the uh, the tablets and if you have any tips on how to get more used to it is when you're approaching certain angles like this I mean I guess I could technically flip the photo but I don't really want to do it. So if this was a piece of paper, I would definitely be flipping it and be able to do what I want at whatever angle I want. But because I don't, I'm always finding myself flipping the Wacom tab uh, tablet. And then sometimes it's like, oh, it's not doing anything. <laughs> so it, like I said, it is a total different technique. It's a different kind of beast to handle in general, but uh, I'm getting used to it. All that uh, animation that I did and... The Dragon Ball art show, there was all actually, yeah, all that was done digitally. Did 
dark wall is becoming all digital. It's all becoming digital now. I mean, I'll get better with it as I continue to and faster. And it's all a matter of time. So you guys get to see my little progression here and all my rough little mistakes. <laughs> sometimes it don't take me too long to make a picture and sometimes... Sometimes it does. Besides, I've only had two coffees so far. And if you guys know me, I'm a coffee fiend. <laughs> I need my coffee, man. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to actually do this with it, but if you guys know Street Fighter, <laughs> it'd be funny to do some Ken eyebrows with it like this. Can you imagine? <laughs> It'll ruin Isaac's look, so I'm not going to do it, but uh, that would be funny. Hadoukens in the cornfield. <laughs> Isaac, you little creepy bastard. Some people think I'm only an anime drawer, and that's definitely not true. Definitely not. Sorry, if it looks like I'm smacking my face because there's a damn fly. Miska, come and eat this fly for me. everybody doing today anyways the return of Monday not great Yikes. I just realized you can hear the swipe of the, the Wacom tablet on there that's kind of cool with the pen doing the oh, you couldn't even hear it that time could you <laughs> ah, she looks like Isaac's got a double chin here I mean hey you know what after a while we could could have uh, chunked out a little bit why not I, I don't know if he's only eating corn. I don't know. I have to eat a lot of that corn. <laughs> All right, you could actually. Isaac, the chunker. Oh, man, look at those. Look at those chins. There we go. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm sorry, Isaac. I can't. I, I can't do it to you. <laughs> But if it provided some comedy, then that's okay. Maybe one day I'll do a Fat Isaac version. That'd be kind of funny. Oh, uh. Yeah, sometimes it can be a little hard to get that crisp line work that uh, if you are familiar with paper and you're trying to do digital sometimes you have to fight with it a little bit and sometimes you'll get that result and you say hell yeah 
And at least you can do the undo button. That's well, that's kind of nice instead of having to hit that eraser with it all the time. Uh, let me see here. Okay. I think I can. Uh -huh. This is not usually how I will do this on paper, but that is okay. I'm okay with it. Because you can still fix shit. Sort of, I think. Yay or nay? Sort of, I don't know. It's, well. Actually, yeah, no. I think it's okay. Because, I mean, the kid does have a pretty thin face, right? It's not... And it's not too elongated either. I don't know, you guys let me know if you think that looks okay so far. Oh, okay, Annie, yeah, take care. And if I'm just screwing this up horribly, then I'm going to go get me some... Coffee. I should get some coffee anyways, actually. Oh, God. Uh -huh. Isaac, I'm going to put your stupid ear in there. It's the work. That's right. Oh boy. Can I do it? Here we go. Nope. 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 <laughs> oh man, I think I do need some coffee. Uh, oh god. You know what? I think I'm just gonna thin this line out a little bit. I might not. Oh. <laughs> Lord. And hold on a second here. Let's gotta be about here, right? Somewhere. Ah, hold on a second. Okay. And we'll hopefully just round that out. Yep. So this is actually where that's going to be. So now.
Oh man, he's, he's stupid. It's just one fly that keeps coming around. Children of Oakhorn? <laughs> there we Shaky lines, you drive me nuts sometimes. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna give this literally gonna try this hat three more tries. Why well, can't get this line going at three tries? This guy needs coffee, pronto, needs that sweet nectar. Of, ah, I screwed up the end part, it was pretty close though, but. This guy needs a sweet nectar of life. And that part is screwed up. So it's actually pretty screwed up. Okay. <laughs> Damn, your eyes are viewing your goddamn weird hat. Alright, let's just establish that. Right there. Okay. Alright. Remember, I'm doing some kind of like rough lines right now. Everything will get touched up a lot more. A lot of stuff will probably get thinned out even more.
going on, guys? <laughs> what we got and then we got uh, gaming with Nemo. We got the one. We got Tracy and we got Mark. So I'm swatting a, a fly. Keeps bugging me. <laughs> I'm not crazy, all right? I'm not that crazy. <laughs> well, I might be with all that paranormal stuff I'm doing. I might be a little bit crazy. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be uh, doing a little bit more of this line work right over here. We're gonna go find somebody to give a little shout out to. I'm gonna go get my ass some coffee finally. Good God. God damn, I really need it. <laughs> Look at the spooky boy of the corn. Huh? I don't know if you guys can see that fly coming on screen, but god damn, the thing is getting annoying. <laughs> so I think what uh, I think what I'll do actually is um, when I come back, I'll do more of this line work with Isaac, touch stuff up, make it look all nice and fancy and spooky and everything. Um, and then I'll start working on all this stuff in the back. And yeah, I'll get the moon and all that put in there. Put in that, um, I gotta figure out how I wanna draw here walks behind the rose. I might do it kind of like how I have it in the thumbnail photo for here. It's just, cause you don't really know what he looks like unless you really want to believe that, you know, Children of the Corn 3, that Ending there with the big corn monster. <laughs> if you want to believe that that's what he walks behind the rose looks like, you can go and tell yourself that. But uh, I, I, if I watch that movie, I watch it up to that part, and it's actually an all right film. And then the ending just completely, I don't know what they were thinking. But all right, let's go and pull somebody up. That's right, Tracy. Because I live, I live by so much corn around here. You know? So much corn, so much kids. I'm freaking out. <laughs> I thought I had brought YouTube up already. Somewhere. Oh, okay. Maybe I did not bring YouTube up. Oh, and just so uh, you guys know, you get to see this awesome cookie that Jenna brought home for me. Oh yeah, the s'mores cookie. You know I'm gonna be warming that bad boy up. <laughs> it's going to happen. Uh, Okay, you know what? You should we check out here? Tracy, you know what? I have not really checked out your channel all that much, so let's see what's going on with the trace in all caps. Where are you? Oh, I'm gonna have to find you like this, I think. That's right, I'm going to have to go into my own chat and find you. Yeah. 
I hope this works. Nope, but I will definitely make you a mod and you a mod. Good, I don't know why I haven't done that one yet. I'm new to this streaming thing, all right? I'm getting used to it. <laughs> I'm an amateur. I ain't no still winter nation, okay? <laughs> Casey, where are you? Wait a second. There's no picture there. That can't be you, is it? Is it? Oh, oh, oh! How am I unsubscribed? Have you guys found that at all? That sometimes you'll subscribe to somebody, and then you're noticing that you're not no you're not seeing any content from them pop up on your newsfeed. You're thinking maybe they just haven't uploaded, and then you realize that you're somehow unsubscribed to them. And you have been for a long time. <laughs> I don't know what is going on with YouTube and why it likes to do this stuff. It's really weird. Ah, Tracy does not have content. She's just a Awesome supporter. Okay. Sweet. Well, there you go, Tracy. I know, just like uh, Mark out there, I know you don't have any content, but man, you guys show such amazing support. It's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> and uh, legit, the moment you guys ever decide yourself, uh, I'll put something out there. Everyone's gonna come to you guys and be like, "Yes, they finally are bringing stuff out." Let's see, let's see what they can deliver. Even if it's just a random live stream saying hello. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess if we don't have anyone to give a little shout out here, I'm gonna give a little shout out myself to Jeno. Sorry, Tracy. <laughs> You can go and get yourself a coffee while I do it. <laughs> Alright, let's give this... Let's turn that off there. I'll just play up one of Jeno's videos here. Uh, we actually are going to be making a new one here. Uh, she's doing a lot of this editing now without me, which is really awesome, right? I sat down and kind of gone through with her uh, everything and now I'm pretty much just waiting for her to say, hey, look, there's a video uploading of mine. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> so it's, it's actually really exciting for me, right? Um, we both do a lot of the filming, and I'll just pass the footage on to her, so she does whatever she wants to it now. And as it started out, you know, I, I was doing a lot of editing just so she could kind of get a grasp at it, you know what I mean? It's such new territory for her. But she's excelling in such ways that, yeah, she doesn't even need to ask me for help anymore. She just tells me that there's a new video coming up. It's like, all right. <laughs> Okie dokie. All right. Let's check out the Avengers of Ursula because Ursula is too awesome. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go grab a coffee, guys. So, if uh, you're scared of tarantulas, a.k.a. Tracy, <laughs> I suggest you go and uh, make yourself busy for four minutes. <laughs> okay, talk to you guys soon. One second. Oh, I should go and... You know what? I'm going to go make a coffee with my children of the corn. That's right. I got a bug of my brother. <laughs>
straight up. Famous little silly lines from the original movie. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, let's see what Commander's actually up to. Let's see if I can see him. Oh, there he is. That's, I don't think you guys are really going to be able to see him very well, but yeah, your commander's in there. He's just hanging out. He's a little duder. That's his little enclosure. He is getting way bigger now, though. It's awesome. He's tumbled himself a little basement, so he takes right after Mama. And other than Commander, we also have uh, another little spooder that we've decided to keep there. One of Ursula's little devil spawns. <laughs> and this one is actually called Ursula Jr., of course. We had to do one that was Ursula Jr. Had to. And uh, she's also a huge tunneler. She has made this awesome looking basement for herself in her tiny little enclosure. And as if she tunneled right in a way. Uh, like right down to the bottom, but right in a way, so it's up against the plastic uh, container, and you can see her perfectly. So it's almost like she's uh, she's trying to show off or something, you know? <laughs> Look what I can do. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna continue this bad boy. up with the spooky stuff. I was going to go and do a, an EVP session last night, a live one on YouTube, but honestly, both me and Jen were just so tired for some reason. I don't know what it was. Maybe because it was, I don't know, just a lazy day. Didn't have the motivation. Didn't even, yeah, that's weird not to have the motivation to pull out a spirit box and do a spirit box session. That's pretty lazy. That's pretty damn lazy. <sighs> but it happens, you know. If you're not, if you're mentally and like physically exhausted, then yeah, you just gotta chill out. I mean, when I'd even considered going out to film some paranormal stuff last night, but I just... I wasn't even willing to do a spirit box session. There's no way I was going to go out to some abandoned house or a graveyard or something. I want to go back to that spirit rock and do some filming at night, but, you know, we got to be really careful around here with the paranormal stuff because, oh, uh, I mean, we live in Canada. The gun regulations are a lot different here, right? So it's not... It's not as if I can go out to Spirit Rock at night uh, and have proper protection with me, right? I could have a knife, I'm sure. Like, I mean, depending on what kind of knife, I could still get in trouble. The thing is, there's a lot of bears and lynx around here, right? So we got to take that into precaution when we're doing stuff that's outside. Even with that Randonautica app, we got to be really safe. Safer than... Some people need to be when they're doing this stuff, you know what I mean? The last thing we want is to run into a lynx. And we'll definitely start bringing Miska, our Great Pyrenees, along with us for the adventures. Not only because, you know, she deserves to have her own little spotlight in a YouTube world, I think. She's... Adorable. I mean, that dog is amazing. We actually saved that dog, believe it or not. Um, yeah, she was not handled all that well, but she's doing great now, I'll tell you that. 
But yeah, we definitely want to start bringing her along with us, not only just to kind of help her get that spotlight because she deserves it, she's amazing, but really, she's going to protect the hell out of us, you know what I mean? If there is some sort of a bear or a lynx or something going on, if she's going to sense it way before any of us would, and in other words, keep your eyes on the dog, and if the dog says no, then you agree with the dog and you get the hell out of there, right? Because whether it's a coyote even or something, you know what I mean? If we don't got that proper protection and we, we can't go put ourselves in that kind of danger. I mean, it's, it's scary enough knowing that there's a possibility of uh, having these Wendigos and skinwalkers, right? I mean, that's all alleged and up in the air. It's a myth, you know what I mean? But it's, if you guys have seen any of paranormal videos, you guys know that some weird stuff's been going on. And it has to do a lot with the Wendigo stuff. And we are a native land, so it does, you know, we didn't even clue into us until we really thought about it and said, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Why is the Wendigo coming through on a spirit box? And then the weird figures that we captured on camera too, which we're still in disbelief of. We still can't even believe that we've caught them. Um, they look like the description of uh, what are they called again? Skinwalkers and whatever. Yeah, I mean, that's that's weird. Weird stuff. You know, what the funny thing is about these lines right here is you're hardly even going to see them in the end. You know what? <laughs> Just because of his hat and color. But when you start doing all the extra shading and stuff, all these little, uh, all these little things I'm doing right now actually start making more sense, and they start looking a lot better. You ever watch Bob Ross, and you're going, "Oh man, he screwed it up," and then three minutes later, thinking he did not screw it up, he just made it amazing. What the hell? Right. I always found that with art, and sometimes that gets a little bit, it's, it's, if you have anxiety, art can either amplify it, or it can cool it down, because for me, I, I find sometimes it'll amplify it, uh, just due to the fact of the, the process you want it, you want to see it done already, you know what I mean, and you know you can't, because you got to take all these other steps to do it, it's, Got to calm yourself down a little bit, you know? Take it easy. Chill out. Go jazz out or something if you need to. <laughs> Tracy knows what I mean by that one. And, uh, yeah, I just saw your message there, Mark. Yeah, exactly. If, if Miska can alert us to danger, any kind of danger at all, I mean, that's that's great. You know what I mean? Because then it's just, it's a quick sign to just say, let's get the hell out of here. You know what I mean? Like, we're not, we're not going to continue this. We'll do it another time, maybe. And I'm sure people would probably understand seeing that and being like, oh, thank God you guys got the hell out of there. And who knows, they might even see something on camera that we didn't be like, dude, there was a there was a bear standing, you know, like 10 feet away from you guys. I don't know, like, slow the camera down there and be like, oh my god, that's what Miska was barking at. <laughs> if we stayed around there, that wouldn't have been good. But if we can go there at nighttime and actually get that footage and, you know, be all safe about it, right? Have Miska there. She's If she's all, only on alert for... Um, you know, things that are just very close in the area. Uh, I guess it depends on her reaction, right? I mean, she growls at paranormal stuff in here, so I gotta try to distinguish the difference between whether she's growling at something out in the forest or she's just growling at something maybe spooky and paranormal, hot, right? I, I wish I could do it live, but, you know, I'm not monetized and stuff. I'm not gonna be able to take you guys out there with me yet. Or any of these places. I'm sure that'll come in time. But I'll still be able to bring you guys along with the adventures the afterwards. 
Let's just hope that there's not one time where there's no afterwards. And Rain and Geno go missing from the Wendigos and Skinwalkers. At least you guys will know where to find us somewhere in Canada. Oh, I am drawing the kid out and I was supposed to save that for last. Shnikes. Holy shnikes. You know, we actually, uh, we re we watched Tommy Boy the other day there. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, that was, that was funny because I have not seen that movie in years. And <laughs> I watched so freaking hard off of it. Hey, what's going on, dude? Hey, uh, I got a question. This is, this is so random. You guys, you guys remember the whole f crazy pop music uh, fad that kind of came out in the 90s there, and it was obviously huge, right? Spice Girls, Backstreet Boys, I mean, NSYNC, Bat whatever, you know what I mean? But do you guys remember the parody group that came out for MTV? Uh, they were called Together. <laughs> I'd forgotten all about them. <laughs> and me and Jen also, I'd, I'd uh, you know, we... we discovered it again and we rewatched it and my god that was that was amazing and the reason that even came to my mind was uh chris farley's brother actually plays in that and i was thinking to myself oh man if chris farley could you imagine like he did an amazing job kevin farley and so funny right He's like just as funny as chris for the most part you know what i mean but if uh could you imagine if chris was actually the one that was in that together group that parody one the comedy would have been just, like, this much higher than, than than it even already was. I mean, even if you just came in for some special appearances and did some singing. Because all I could think about is it'd be <laughs> Saturday Night Live, right? <laughs> oh, man, Chris Farley was too much of a legend, you know? Such a shame. River Phoenix gone, too. Oh, my God. Could name off a whole bunch. Yeah, me and Jen got to get our comedy fixed in all the time, because uh, I guess nowadays, especially with all the paranormal stuff, you got to gotta get your own little fix of some humor in there. You know? Can't always be dark and grudgy. Isaac, you creepy little bugger. Oops. Ah. Now I may actually be feeling up for um, some paranormal stuff today. I'm going to see if I can go on my phone here and show you guys what we are looking at here for some creepy locations. Let's see if I can find them on here. And the place that we live in here actually does have one, uh, it's like a, a bed and breakfast actually, haunted location. So we're going to try to get in there at some point, see if we're actually even allowed to film in there because they might. They might not allow it. I I get it if they don't. Okay. Ooh. Is, you guys are probably not going to really be able to see the photo very well. Um, uh, maybe if I pull it up here. Okay. So this is uh, an abandoned factory. I got all that decay in there. Holy moly. Let's see if I can. There's a whole bunch of other. Oh, yeah. See, there's another photo of it. What do you think, Trace? What do you think, Mark? Should we go? Me and Jeno? Go check out this spooky spot. 
You know what? And the crazy thing is, there's always, um, or, sorry, I was, I was just reading another thing right here. Uh, there's three actually abandoned factories pretty much right next to each other right there. So we're going to actually make some phone calls really soon. Well, I guess I will. Jen knows that work. Um, so I'm going to make some phone calls really soon and see if we can get our butts in there to do some investigation. If there is, you know, uh, a no trust bus passing signs on there, because I'll probably fly down there in a little bit just to check it out on my own. And if there is no trespassing signs, then I might get some day footage at the same time, right? And then come back later at night and do it. Um, but obviously, if there's no trespassing signs, I'll, I'll call and I'll make sure I get permission so that I'm not... I'm not being a dick. <laughs> Alright, what's going on there, Tajita? Just talking some ghostly stuff here. Working on some children of the corn. And if you guys are down, I can, uh, I can run a little EVP session, a live EVP session here with you guys if you want as well. But there is uh, somebody I do want to give a little shout out to that is here too, and that is Toon Raccoon. And I do want to say a, a huge, huge, huge congrats on getting your 1,000 there. That is amazing and well deserved. I mean, you know what, with me, I don't go to a lot of gaming channels, and that's just the, the honest truth about it, right? And it's just because I, sometimes I have a hard time sitting down watching a video game for a certain uh, extended period of time when I'm like, oh, now I want to play video games and I just start playing myself. It, it's just it's just the way my mind works. But for some odd reason with Toon Raccoon, you can go in there and you can actually sit down and, and watch your play for like, like a whole hour and not be bored. And then you're also chatting with these people and having a good time. And then the fact that she also goes out and plays games that you request for her to play. I mean... I remember, I think it was a month ago, saying, oh, I'd love it if you play uh, Legend of Zelda. And what is she playing right now? She's playing Legend of Zelda. You know what I mean? So it's like, yes. <laughs> so I definitely, if you guys have not checked out Toon, you got to go check out Toon Raccoon. It's, it's almost like a guarantee. Because if you don't, you know what's going to happen to you? This kid right there and all these kids over here, they're going to find you. And it's not going to be good. They don't, they don't like people who don't like Toon Raccoon, okay? <laughs> that's right. Okay? Toon, you have the children of the corn behind your back, and that's it's a little scary, but that's probably a good thing for you. <laughs> the damn corn kids. You know what, I really do hope that this reboot thing that they're making of it is so good. I really do. I hope it's not disappointing. You know what, I gotta show you guys. I gotta show you guys what it's looking like a little bit right now. Because I, I know a lot of you guys probably have, still have no idea that there's a new Children of the Corn coming out. Because there's been like a million Children of the Corn movies. And this is actually going to be a, a proper one made. Children of the Corn 2020. Okay, so let's go from here. Okay, so this is pretty cool. So like I said, it was it was filmed during COVID, right? Let's see if this photo wants to show up here. And they took all these crazy precautions in order to actually get it filmed, right? So everything had to change. As soon as the virus started getting... Uh, really serious everything had to change they they also had to change some of the actors because you know all the cast and crew agreed that they're going to quarantine together but some of them you know didn't didn't feel comfortable with it and so they said absolutely you know what i mean like we're not gonna keep you around here if you're not comfortable with it by all means so they had to film every single scene differently they had to look at the whole entire thing as almost as a different way to film, you know what I mean? And you can see just from this photo alone here, 
keeping uh, keeping your distance even in the cornfield. There they go. Look at that. So this was done in Australia there. Um, and like I said, allegedly a $10 million budget for the film. So for me, I think that's quite exciting, especially seeing as how, well, you know, there's, there's so many terrible sequels that have been made by Dimension Films and they just kept rushing sequel after sequel after sequel out after every couple of years just to keep the rights to it, right? It's like, let, let that dead horse just die. Let it just die, okay? It's dead, it does not, it's not gonna come back. No matter how many times you poke it with that stick there, buddy, okay? It's not coming back to life. And I think Kurt Wimmer has finally found what needs to be done with it, right? So the last film that came out for Children of the Corn Runaway, eh, you probably haven't heard of it, and probably for a good reason, because it was so low budget, right? I personally, out of all of those crummy sequels that have been made, that's one of the ones that I actually somewhat enjoyed because they took something from the short story that none of these films did, right? They took an actual scene from the short story uh, about a character at the very end named Ruth, right? And she's supposed to be uh, the girlfriend to a character named Malachi. And if you remember Malachi, right? Um, the reason why people became scared of gingers was Malachi, actually, by the way. <laughs> I'm saying they have no souls. It's all Malachi's fault, so if you're going to ever, ever watch this, Courtney Gaines, it's all your fault, but we love you for it, okay? <laughs> oh, sorry, one second here, guys. Misky, hold on. Yeah, my dog's being a little bugger right now. One second here. One second. Okay, uh, my dog is not feeling so good, so I gotta go and check up on her, guys. I'm sorry. I I keep this around, but I gotta I gotta make sure she's okay right now. And she's uh, it's probably just a hairball to be honest. She loves to get into random stuff, and me and Jenna are always yelling at her for eating random crap. So she does it to herself, to be honest. She does. She she literally does. But I gotta go and be a dog dad right now. So 